you were joking with us that this camera's up pretty high today. <laughs> it is. It is. It's a good one for me. Yeah. So tell me, uh, what made you want to go through a height increasing surgery? So there's many different factors that actually like influenced my decision to do it. But most of them were the fact that there are more benefits to being a taller man. And I spent eight years in the military and I hated the fact that I always had to prove myself. Like I always had to prove myself no matter what I did, no matter where I went. They didn't believe in my capabilities until I did, but I noticed with the larger men, it wasn't that same like case. Like they just assume because we were military, they assume that they could do their job perfect. Also growing up, I was a small child. Like I was small once I hit middle school. Like before that, I was one of the tallest kids because I hit my growth spurt early. But after that, it's like, I was just a small kid. I didn't play sports because I was too like self-conscious about my size. I didn't get too good at approaching women until like later in my life when I had to reach a point of like, okay, forget my height, I don't care. So I definitely struggled with height as an insecurity, but unfortunately to me, it was like, that was always my only insecurity. So I felt like if I had it, life would be different. Interesting. There's a lot of different ways we could take this conversation. Let's start with the facts first. How tall were you six, seven months ago? So I got the surgery in December. So beginning of December, I was five foot five. It barely like just just five foot five no extra like so yeah how tall are your parents my dad is a little over six foot and my mother is 4'11 wow yeah okay yeah i am basically 4'11 yeah. and it's interesting because i imagine having a tall dad you're like well wow which way is the gene pool gonna lean they thought i was gonna be tall because as i said i hit my growth spurt very early so I was one of the taller kids up until middle school. Okay, so 5'5", five, five. let's just call a spade a spade. We've heard the women say, as soon as I hear a guy say he's five something, I'm not interested. Did that play a factor in this surgery? Mm, not as much as you would think because I was not, I was pretty good with women, like to an extent. Uh, actually now my the women that have come, I've come across have been much different than the women I had before. But I was pretty good with women, but I still had that deep underlying insecurity. Like before, I had to boost myself up to go talk to somebody, or I had to like convince myself. Like, And it was always that feeling of like, uh, what if she does like decline me, decline me because of my height? What do you but, mean different kinds of women? Uh, the, the class of women I met before the surgery were not necessarily on the same level as the class of women I'm meeting now as far as what they do, their occupation, uh, overall appearance, those things. Interesting, so you think you've pulled better women since you've gained some height? I don't think, I know. Wow. I absolutely know for a fact. Interesting, okay, let's keep it pushing. Um, how did you hear about this surgery? I've Googled how to get taller since I was about 16 years old, and all these different things came up. Uh, pills, stretching. I have had numerous inversion tables that are supposed to decompress your spine and maybe give you another inch. Uh, I've tried different pills that I knew wouldn't work but hoped something would happen. But just so happens last year I googled how to get taller and limb lengthening came up and I researched it and I was like I definitely do this. I was originally gonna do it in America for but I found a way better facility in Turkey so I ended up going through Turkey. What was better about it? A few different things. One, here I was gonna pay $150,000 to do the surgery because I always wanted to do it twice, not once. I've done it twice. So I did my upper legs. After that, I was 5'9". Then I did my lower legs to become six foot. Uh, but in Turkey, they have, and they're one of the only companies, it's called Live Life Taller. They have a rehabilitation center where they do physical therapy every day or physiotherapy every day. And uh, they like pretty much cater to you in a sense like they bring you everything you need, they help you get back on your feet, and you're there the entire time you go through the surgery. Whereas when I was gonna do it in America, they pretty much do all the facilities I found, they do the surgery and send you home. So you're basically left to recover on your own in a sense. Financially, was it comparable or did you get more bang for your buck? So I definitely got a lot more bang for my buck because they can only get me to 5'10 in America instead of six foot and uh, live life taller, they push the boundaries a little bit based off your body uh, and how well you're handling the surgery. But here it was 150,000, in Turkey it was only about 80,000 
for both surgeries. Both surgeries? Together, yeah, so about 40,000 per surgery. Whereas in America, it's like 75,000 for the top leg and then another 85,000 for the lower legs because they're more complicated. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty then. I'm gonna be honest with you. A couple members of our news team were like, how does this work? Is he gonna look strange? Are his arms gonna match his legs? Walk us through that. So fortunately, when you go through the company and everything, they actually take your, uh, they actually take your wingspan. I have the wingspan of a man that's 5'10". So my arms, I've always known this, my arms were too long for my body. It came like nearly to my knees. So fortunately, I knew that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, as far as how the actual surgery works, which is very interesting, they actually break the bone, like surgically cut the bone, they put a rod in it, and they connect a device outside the leg that connects to the rod inside the leg, and you turn a key on it every day for 90 days, and it stretches out the bone, the muscles, the tissue. Uh, funny question I always get is, where's the new skin come from? It's just your skin is just stretched out. So imagine muscle, when you grow muscle, there isn't new skin, the muscle is just stretched out. It's the same concept with your legs. Okay. Everything is elongated. What about the pain? <laughs> the absolute worst pain I've ever dealt with in my entire life. And I was in the military for eight years and did some unimaginable stuff. So the, when you first wake up, your legs are so swollen you can barely move after the surgery. They put you to sleep, you wake up, you can barely move, it's excruciating pain. Like most people regret it when they wake up. I was one of those people. But I prayed, you know, and I said I was gonna push through it and then reach my goal. But after the first two weeks, the pain gets better. They give you painkillers, they give you all these other things, the exercises, stretches to help you with the pain. But unfortunately that first two weeks is no escaping it. Like it's just there. After that, you still have pain, but you get used to it and it reduces significantly. So I still have a lot of things to get into. You can ask whatever you want. Was it worth it? Absolutely, 100%. My life has changed dramatically since I've gone through limb lengthening and I'm not even recovered yet. Mm -hmm. How much longer do you have? Uh, I, can, I just started walking about two weeks ago without support, but I still use it for safety reasons. Um, so it's about a six month to a year full recovery because you have to let the new bone grow in. Fortunately, my process is a little bit fast paced. So I, my bone is growing in very well. So I'm hoping to be like 100% back to normal by December. What kind of sports do you like? I know you said you didn't really play sports growing up, but what about now since this? I don't do sports, never been. I enjoy to like run games of basketball, but it's never been something I was really committed to or cared about. I don't really care for sports. So what about these women when they're now approaching you or you're approaching them? Do they go, gosh, that's crazy that you went through all this to be six feet or are they like, cool, so, I like how it looks. It's funny because on the internet, people are saying a bunch of different things, but like in my inbox and I actually have women approach me in public that don't know I went through surgery and they completely ignore like the fact that I have either this or a walker. Like I've been approached several times since I've returned home and even like in Turkey and I was kind of astonished because I'm like, I walk re weird right now, like all these different things. But the women who don't know that approach me, like they have no clue, they still do. And then women on in my inbox, I assume it's because I went viral, but apparently no one cares that I have broken legs. <laughs> and cause that's all my response. Like I, I won't get into it, but women have said some crazy things to me and I say you know my legs broke like every bone in my leg is broken right now and I'm like you know my legs broke and I won't be up and running for like another six months are you concerned that women are going to be attracted to you for the wrong reason it's a concern but dating isn't um, a priority for me I'm focused on actually getting my career in order what's your career so apparently I've been told now that I'm a social media influencer so I will run with that but I actually do music okay so what kind of music I rap, of okay. course. Um, just candidly speaking then, you know, what do you think this says about society that the world has opened up to you since you grew seven inches? Uh, not, so most, majority of people have been unaccepting, like they refuse to accept. They think the world is crazy because so many people are changing themselves. Me, they say I did this for women. I did this predominantly for myself. Of course, I understood it would open up my options to more women. Like. It, height is something that people enjoy. Even if 
a woman dates you at a short height, if you were taller, she would appreciate it more. But I think, unfortunately, there are heavy standards on society as far as appearance, but they don't really concern me. So if someone were to ask you, if you could put it in one sentence, why you went through this surgery, it would be because... Okay, I won't go too deep into it, but it would be because I struggled with who I was as a person. I really had issues with not necessarily my appearance, but my height, and I didn't love the overall view I saw of myself in the morning when I looked in the mirror. And I felt like I wanted to become the best version of myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. And for me, that included height. So for those critics who say people should be able to find self-love and who they are, what do you say? I say, to me, my viewpoint is, some, I do think some people go overboard with their bodies, but that's not my place to say. You can do whatever you feel you need to do. But I think as far as like the whole body modification thing, I think some people say love what God gave you. I think God blessed us with the ability to change things that we're not so happy about. So that's my take on it.